The challenges of COVID-19 have forced doctors to find new ways to deal with the needs of their patients, and that includes addiction medicine. But at Insynergy, a St. Louis-based outpatient addiction care center, innovation is at the heart of their mission. Well, I was worried during the pandemic that um, people wouldn't be engaged uh, because the social aspect of what we do is the core of really the experience. To continue delivering the vital, personalized care in Synergy provides its patients, they turned to technology. A lot of our non-acute visits are being, being done via telemedicine. So our group therapy sessions are being done remotely. Um, we have weekly visits for that. It's not just current in Synergy patients meeting virtually. The convenience of the technology is allowing its alumni group to increase sessions from twice a month to weekly. It exceeded my expectations by far. I've gotten used to it and I think everybody has because we get a good uh, group on every time. Uh, and it's much more conversational, conversational than I thought it would be. I thought people would kind of talk over each other a lot and things, but uh, no, it, it's, it's, it's worked out very well. After five or six months, boy, I'm very, very pleased and very proud of our patients. And uh, they, they've done well. They're getting what they need from us and they can always contact us instantly uh, using these various technologies. Are you still seeing some patients in person despite the pandemic? Probably about 20% of our patients are doing in-person. Um, the, the remainder are doing uh, telemedicine visits. When we do have our in-person visits, we're making sure that we have those social distancing cues allowed for. We also have the availability for those visits that are being done in person. We're actually having those done outside, which does allow for for a number of things, including having our patients kind of have some fresh air, which is, I think, a little refreshing for our patients as well. In-person visits are always available for those patients who are in crisis or have acute mental illness. To keep visitors safe, the facility is sanitized every two hours, and all CDC guidelines are followed regarding temperature checks, masks, and social distancing. Do you think once the pandemic is over that Insynergy will continue to offer virtual visits as an alternative? I think this is here to stay, uh, not only in, in the addiction medicine field, but all of medicine. While virtual meetings are less personal than Insynergy would prefer, they are finding advantages as well. This may even encourage more people to come in because they, 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 can, they can remain confidential. I mean, they can join a group and, and not show who they are and just participate, listen, and learn from other people. We're all about technology here. We're all about innovation. And so we're accepting this. For more information about Insynergy, including a free, no obligation, individual assessment, go to InsynergySTL.com. Reporting for Insynergy, I'm Paul Shankman. Story Smart Video News.